Samsung just dropped the One UI 6.1.1 update for the Galaxy S24 series. And it looks like AI is the name of the game here because this update focuses heavily on the Galaxy AI. So much so that now Galaxy AI has its own dedicated menu in the settings. And if you remember, all of these features used to be inside a menu called Advanced Intelligence. So with the rename and relocation of all of these settings, Galaxy AI has gone mainstream. And they are really doubling it down on AI because now if you open a photo in the gallery, you'll notice that the generative edit button is right here. So no need to open the picture in the photo editor if you just want to make AI based changes to your photo. Now, speaking of generative edit, when you open a portrait in the generative edit tool, you'll see a new feature called Portrait Studio and tapping on this will allow you to transform your photos into a comic, 3D cartoon, watercolor painting or transform yourself into a sketch. Now it does take a while to generate. I'm guessing it's using the cloud and not happening locally on the phone. But holy moly, that is awesome. So it does look like me, doesn't it? And what's nice is that the phone gives you a couple of options to choose from. And if you are not satisfied, you can hit the generate button again and the phone will come up with a new set of pictures. Nice. You know what? This is going to come in handy for profile pictures on social media. This update also brings sketch to image, which has several applications and one of them is in the gallery. So you can open your photos in the generative edit tool, select sketch to image and draw something in your photos. Like we can draw mountains in the background and once we hit generate, the phone will turn our art into reality. And bam, there you go. It is just like magic. You know what? This one looks quite realistic. I mean, if I didn't know that this was the real picture, I would not be able to tell that this one contains AI generated content. So this is actually quite good. Another thing that you can do is draw objects on people or animal. Like I can draw a tiara on my dog and the phone will turn it into something that's real. So there you go. It's nice to see all these different previews and we can select the one which we actually like. However, keep in mind that once you save a photo which has been edited with the generative edit tool, the phone is going to add a watermark telling you that this is AI generated, which is a very good thing. And yes, you can still go ahead and remove the watermark using the built-in object eraser tool, but the metadata of the photo will still let everyone know that this is AI generated. When you take the S Pen out, you'll notice that they have also added sketch to image to the air actions. Now here you can draw anything you like and once you are done, you've got the option of turning your sketch into watercolor, illustration, sketch, pop art or a 3D cartoon. Now you'll have to forgive me for my horrible sketch, but yeah, this will turn your sketch into art. That is awesome. And if you like what the phone has done for you, you can go ahead and save the image. Now if you've got the regular S24 which comes without the S Pen, then you can open sketch to image through the edge panels. So on the apps edge panel, you'll see something called sketch to image, which is the exact same feature. Now speaking of the edge panels, you'll notice that the smart select screenshot edge panel is no longer there. This is because they've kind of integrated the smart select screenshot tool in the apps edge panel. It's here on the top right corner. Tapping on it will allow you to take a screenshot. Slightly different way of taking a screenshot but yeah, it's more or less the same thing. It's actually more functional than the previous version because now you've got the option to add the screenshot that you've taken directly to Samsung Notes. Then you can copy the screenshot to the clipboard. You've got the share panel. This will save the screenshot to the gallery and this allows you to extract text. And yes, you've still got the option of pinning the screenshot to the screen. So you can see this is way more functional than the previous smart select screenshot tool. Also, if you take a screenshot of a photo using smart select, you'll get the sketch to image option and you can draw or write something in the photo and the phone is gonna turn it into reality. You know what? That is awesome. And lastly, you can also turn your sketches into images in the Samsung Notes app. 
So if you've got a sketch that you've created, you can tap on the AI button and turn your sketch into an image. And once again, you get a couple of options, but I think for this illustration is good. Wow, so that is actually quite impressive. You know what, I think this is pretty good for people who aren't artists, but still want to visualize something that they have created into art form. One more new feature that you will notice in Samsung Notes is the handwriting help. This has a couple of features like smart guideline, auto align letters, and it will also fix the shape of your letters. So to demonstrate, if I write something on the screen, You'll notice that the phone puts a line at the bottom so we can write in a straight line. But here's the fun part. If you still cannot write in a straight line, the phone is going to automatically align the letters for you. So you guys with the S24 Ultra are going to love this feature because of the S Pen. Now I think everyone knows that you can add a voice recording to your note by tapping on this plus button. So let's quickly record something. So this is a rough drawing of a table that I want to build. It's 15 inches in length and 13 inches in depth. So what's new is that once you are done recording, you can transcribe your voice note into plain simple text. So just like that. The phone will also create a summary if you want and also translate the transcribed text into another language. So this feature is pretty darn awesome, right? When you open a video in the built-in video player in the gallery, so just like this, now you can double tap on the right to skip forward in a video or double tap the left side to go back, just like you do on YouTube. If you did this on the earlier versions, it would just pause the video. So this is a nice addition to have. But keep in mind it only works when you open the video in the built-in video player by tapping on these three dots. In security and privacy, there's a feature called Auto Blocker, and this update brings the maximum restriction mode to the Auto Blocker. Enabling this will enhance the security of your phone, like it's gonna turn on the app protection which will scan the installed apps for malicious activity, then it's gonna block apps that require administrative privileges, then in Samsung Messages, it's gonna block auto-downloading attachments, hyperlinks, and remove location data when you share photos. And it also does some other stuff in the gallery like it will block shared albums and also remove the location data when you share photos through the gallery. So kind of a nice feature which will enhance the overall security of your phone. Now, the way you answer calls on a Samsung phone is by swiping your finger over the answer key. So just like that. Now this update brings a new option which allows you to answer the call just by tapping on the answer button. So if you want to change this setting, you'll have to open the dialer, tap on these three dots and head on into the settings. Here tap on answering and ending calls and then change the gesture to answer calls from swipe to tap. And this is a personal choice so set this to whatever you feel comfortable with. You'll also notice another new feature which says answering using speaker. If you enable this, the phone is always gonna use its loudspeaker in place of the earpiece speaker whenever there's no headset or a Bluetooth device connected. So you can see that once it is enabled, the phone is gonna activate the speaker phone as soon as we answer the call. Now coming back to the AI features, the chat assist for phone calls which is also known as live translate now also works with third party applications. So if you scroll down you've got the menu live translate in other apps. You can see WhatsApp, Google Meet and Instagram are available. So to use the live translation feature in third party apps, start by placing a phone call, then drop down the quick panel and select live translate. Make sure that you've got the right languages selected and live translate will start working. Okay, so now if I say something in German on this phone, it will be automatically translated to English on our S24 Ultra. Lass uns spazieren gehen. Let's go for a walk. So there you go. Yeah, my German isn't really that great, but it was able to translate what I said. That was, let's go for a walk. So yeah, live translation now works with third-party apps. 
the photo ambient wallpaper feature which kinda reflects the local weather on your phone's lock screen is finally out of the experimental stages. To set a photo ambient wallpaper, pinch in on the home screen and then head on into wallpaper and style. Then tap on change wallpapers and under create with AI, tap on photo ambient. Now it's gonna ask you for the location permission to show you the local weather. But if you skip this, it will show you the weather of the city that you have selected in the weather app. So finally, after you pick a picture from the gallery, you'll see that the local weather of your city is gonna show up on the lock screen wallpaper. So if it's nice and sunny outside, the phone is gonna simulate the sun by showing you this bright animation on the top. If it's raining, you'll get a rain animation. And during the night, the lock screen wallpaper is gonna dim itself. I absolutely love this feature. It is awesome. They've also added a composer to the Samsung keyboard's AI features. And as the name suggests, this will help you compose messages. So we can just tell the phone to write a sick leave application and we're gonna change the format to email and then set this to professional. And you'll see that the phone will create a formal leave letter for us. So this is gonna save you a lot of time while composing messages and the fun part is you can even tell the composer to give us a few facts about the planet Mars. And you'll see it will come up with some interesting stuff. So very similar to chat GPT but this is integrated right here in your Samsung keyboard. So if you keep your finger on the screen while watching a video, the phone kinda turns the video into a slow-mo. This feature was a part of the S24 series and I guess everyone knows about it. But what's new is that when you let go of your finger, you get a pop-up which allows you to save that part of the video that you have just previewed in slow-mo. So there you go. This is gonna make turning videos into slow-mo super easy. When you swipe up in a photo to open the details, you're gonna see a new option which says live effect. And as you can see, this kinda turns the photo into a motion photo. I kinda like the 3D effect, but I'm not sure where I'm gonna use the live photo. And by the way, the phone is gonna save this as a video. So it's gonna be very easy to upload the live photo onto social media. And lastly, the interpreter, which you can access by dropping down the quick panel. Here's the button. So previously, it only had the conversation mode, which kind of requires you to toggle between the microphone buttons. But now, they've added something called the listening mode, which keeps the translator active all the time. Very useful for transcribing a lecture which is not being spoken in your language. So both the listening and the conversation mode have their own advantages. When you use the AI translator to translate the web page in the Samsung web browser, you'll notice that now it also translates the text that are in the images. So this is gonna make browsing websites that aren't in your language super easy. I also like what they've done with the built-in Samsung file manager. So what's new is that when you try to copy or move a file in the file manager, it now opens up a pop-up letting you select the folder in which you want to move or copy the file. And once you're done, it will go back to the previous folder you were in. Super convenient, right? On the older version, when you try to move or copy the file, you actually have to navigate out of the folder that you were in and then move the file. And once again, you'll have to manually go back to the previous folder you were in. So that's kind of inconvenient. I really like what Samsung has done here. When you create a transcript of a voice recording in the Samsung voice recorder, the phone now auto detects the languages in the voice recording. So this contains both English and Hindi. And you can see that the phone does in fact recognize both the languages. And if the phone makes a mistake, you can go ahead and edit your transcripts from over here. That is neat. I like it. 
All right, so I think I've covered all of the major changes that the One UI 6.1.1 update brings to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, or rather I should say S24 series, because this video is valid if you have the S24 Plus or the regular S24. Yes, there are some minor changes that I've left out intentionally because I want to keep this video short. So thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching videos like this one. This is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.